do it. Yep, we got our <laughs> got our old school judge over in the corner. We can kind of see let's him in the background. Oh yeah, you, yeah. You let's, let's see count Sean. Down with us the Sean Bo. Here we go in three, three two, two, one. Tetris. Tetris. All right, we are underway, and of course you can see that the same the piece that they're coming out, Chris. That's what we love. In those all-American level 18 colors, USA, USA. That's right. All of our players on the screen, uh, except for uh, Hana, of course. Oh, not representing the USA. New Zealand or Australia? Australia. Australia. It's hard to know over there because they all have the same kind of flag with the Union Jack and like a bunch of different stars. And, yeah, they they talk about shrimps and Barbies. <laughs> That's quite the journey. I mean. Kind of heard about uh, Chris Forrest's adventure getting here, but coming here from Australia, wow. Yeah, I, th I think they uh, I think they lost all of Chris Forrest's luggage. <laughs> so there's a lot of smelly underwear stuck in an airport somewhere. Oh boy, that's a, that's, that's, that poor, I want to keep it lost. Those poor airport workers, <laughs> my word. All right, we're underway, Jerpy and uh, Biggie already uh, already with a few Tetrises under. Uh, their belts, and actually all of them, pretty much uh, around the same score. You'll see that we've got the uh, number of Tetrises uh, difference, right? So you get the score difference expressed in Tetrises relative to the current level. Right. So you know how like McDonald's makes their cash register super easy, so you, they don't have to know any math. That's what they've done for us, dumb commentators. We don't have to think about how many Tetris they need. We can see Hana needs a point two Tetris to take the lead. So. Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, thanks oh, uh, Yobi. Right to Yobi, like really? Yeah. yeah. That being said, one but here we go. One point nine. Look around here. Basically two minutes. With CT1 right in my ear, that's gonna be a little off-putting, but I'll, I'll work my way through it. Yeah, there's no need to tune into CT1. We, no, you can hear you can every hear single thing us. that is happening over on CT1. <laughs> All right, 121 here for Jerpy, 129 for Biggie. Jerpy going to get a Tetris 144, pretty gross. Pretty low Tetris rates for all four players. Yes. Kind of early a lot. I don't know how much warm-up these players got. They're all warm-up at 29 like they uh, the pros tend to do. Yeah, well, that is. I think that's got to be a factor because, you know, when you're playing uh, throughout the year online, friendly matches or some of the you know more higher level matches you've got you can practice all the time right. but i don't think these players you know are lugging crts and NESs to their hotel rooms maybe no. some of them that so it'll be interesting to see how much uh, warm up uh, they've all gotten and whether that is a factor but like i said with our double kill screens tetris rate is a thing again we made tetris rate great again and uh, we'll, we'll see. I, you know what? What's interesting is because the 39 double kill screen forces players to be more aggressive, we're probably not going to see it come into play very often. It's, people are going to top out well before then. So, Well, you know, it is possible. You know, uh, you know just for those of you... You know, who maybe haven't been following all year. The new, uh, the new meta here is yep. that there is no more lining out until infinity. We saw a mega battle between Fractal and Eric last year's finals, uh, which is great and was a match for the ages. But when you're now with more and more players able to do that coming into 2023, that becomes a real problem in terms of the time. So that's that's a great accomplishment. When a, when a player is so good that they change the rules. That, that's a historical and moment, so I, I would hope that Eric gets a kind of a credit for that rule change or gets it named after him or something, but yeah. that's to be determined oh, as we go into the future. Yeah. So what you'll see is what players, you know, will get through, you know, level 19 a speed change, level 29 a speed change, right. but then at level 39, you will see another speed change, which is virtually unsurvivable. Some, it's, a, it's a doubling again, like a 120 It is drop another rate. doubling, so it is twice 29 speed, and you can barely do anything. No, I think Alex T, as far as I know right now, has the record, Right. because of course you put a barrier up there, these kids are going to try to go that, for it. That's how life should, should work. Yeah, the record I think is what, 14 lines or somewhere in there, right? So we got Jerpy here at 323, Biggie 295, Hana down the bottom 297, and DMJ 299. So really neck and neck all around. Yeah. Like it. First game of CTWC has been taken by Armstrong. Now, Chris, I'm reading here in chat that everybody's muting CT1 and listening to CT2 audio only. Fist up there, bro. <laughs> Let's go. 
We got the secret sauce. We, I always propose that CTW or you know, Classic yeah, Tetris 2 should kind of like a scratch logo, kind of like MT or ESPN2 back to back in the day. We're kind of like the we're the cool hangout. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if anybody watching knows what ESPN and MTV are. Nah, I it's, I'm old. I just turned 47. Did you really? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm you so sorry. You can see the gray in my beard. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss. No. <laughs> Poor guy. Pandemic hits you hard, I guess. I, well, yeah. <laughs> my, me too. Yeah. All right, 376 yeah, Jerpy, 329 Biggie, Hana 389 DMJ, 394. Still, everybody pretty darn close. Yeah, I got about 10 lines to go. For yeah, I mean, it's these are their top line players. It's really about surviving 18 well. The fun's going to happen at 19. But also no crazy play up at the top either. I think they're kind of like loosening up. They're, they're, it, I, I think you're right. They didn't really get the great warm up. So kind of playing a little conservative. Because none of these boards yeah, are messes, but the scores aren't particularly high either. Yeah, part of this also is going to come down to the uh, piece sequence. Now, our players are getting same piece sets. There is a there is a tournament kind of cartridge here that allows us to use the same pieces for each match. All right. Well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. All right. Wow, we are into 19 for there, three of our players. Oh, Biggie up near the top oh, of the Biggie's, screen here. This is going to be really in, tough. Yeah, even Biggie. the rollers. Yeah, just three lines to go in oh, that tee to the left. Do it. That's going to seal it for Biggie. Jerpy already ahead, and we'll take right. game one up top. But we still got a match down the bottom. So, uh, see, our, our hearts have been moved over to the side there. They're vertical hearts. Kind of like a traffic light of hearts. Traffic light of love, if you will. <laughs> now, I remember back in the day, in the old Trey Vision days, you had to choose from a drop down the number of hearts. And now, uh, now, now a click. Yeah, now I just see a heart. A I click visual it. click. Yeah, I literally just click a heart, and there it is. Amazing. Oh, and it looks like we had DMJ I mean, took game number one as well. I cursed it. So there we go. Yep. 756 to 791. Kind of, you know, as a tournament organizer, when they kind of top out early, it helps with the timing, and that's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. You know, I. Uh, you might have firsthand heard of that. As a that. content creator, I root for, like, you know, uh, deciding game fives every single time. Right. As a streamer, I, I want it sweeps every time. <laughs> so, you know, ending in four games. Sweet now spot, Chef's kiss. So Biggie pressed down to get the 12 point lead. Always oh, fun. All right, they're getting started uh, on the bottom here on a DMJ and Jerpy and Biggie all in game two. This is ridiculous. 909 for Duty here, level 25. We're looking at level 26 max this year. And yeah, kind of a janky board here for Jerpy. Yeah, they're running into a drought up top there. You can see the drought wow. counter we've yep. got, the blinking long bar. We'll tell you how many pieces it's been since the previous long bar. I think they kept the 13 threshold, but it, either way, it's 35 punishing. Oh yeah, that is a that is a really big uh, drought, especially to start a game off. And Hana kind of in trouble here. They're getting droughted up here at the top of the board. This is going to be really tough for Hana. It's open, it's open. Where's the bar? Oh. No bar, and Hana gonna top out at 3,000. DMJ is good in game number two. DMJ won the uh, Arizona regional, desert regional, not qualifiers anymore, regionals, better term, with a bucket on his head. <laughs> As bucket we, how we missed that KFC marketing opportunity with the Young Corporation, I don't know. But, you know, we're, we're, growing pains for us as organizers. Man, our first match on the day, of course, going to Doodle. You know, it's, uh, I can't even hear Bidwell, and he's right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Our witty banter cannot be heard. No, it's probably for the best. That's, yes. So he's already starting game three at the bottom. Yeah, game three down the bottom. Game two up top, still going. Jerpy here, 139. Biggie, 162. Long bar over Tetris Biggie. Yeah, looks like he's going to go with the line out approach here again. You know, as you said, he's only got about a. And yes, players do get the same droughts. They get the same piece sets. Now, not across both games, but no. just each individual game has That'd its own. That'd be fun, though. We should think about that. Yeah, that would be if, they, if all the games got the same piece sequence. I, I, I think I'm digging the, the Tetris difference, especially the way it goes back and forth like that. I, I, I think I like it. Tell us what you think in chat. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think. <laughs> oh. <Ooh>. Love Kings. <laughs> I'm so glad to see him. All right, Jerpy there with a dirty Tetris. That hasn't changed, folks. We, we know the classics. 
3,000 more points to... All right, Tetris over there, Biggie. So just, do it. Game one goes to Doge up top. just exchanging the lead back and forth up top. Yeah, so I, I, we'll, I'll do the newbie terms because we might have people who aren't you for most of the scene. 22,800 points for a Tetris at level 18. Yes. I mean, I mean seriously, we might be in for a... Good job. I know. I can, I can do that part. For real. Right All right, Tetris Eric, sort of in the middle of the board for Hana, 124, 126 for DMJ. So way to bounce back from game number one. Yeah, been looking really good here. All right, long bar over, Biggie, 349. So, you know, players, as they look, you see they're about uh, on top there, about 80 lines through. Right. You're looking for a good aggressive tournament uh, uh, pace here. It would be about 100,000 points per 20 lines. Right. Or about, uh, or when you get to the higher, well, yeah, that's right. We'll just go with that. Right. That would give and you about a 600k plus transition at 130 lines. And, and the difference between CT1 and 2, you can't hear commentators on 2, so you might see a little more screen looking over here, or some players just like to be completely oblivious and just play with what they got. Yep, super close up top and bottom. Or Jerpy and Biggie. Jerpy with that flat long bar burn, setting up for the Tetris here. Gets a Tetris 419. Keeping pace with Biggie, both with clean boards here. The, the Tetris rates have improved since the earlier game, so I think the warming up is commencing. It's a little chilly in Portland. You gotta like get inside and start a fire or something. Well, I'm not a dad, but I'm doing the dad thing, wearing cargo shorts in the rain. Oh, dude. <laughs> Although this board for DMJ, I am not a fan. Yeah, that, that looking pretty rough for DMJ right now. But it's got a... Oh, it's covered. All right. Uncovers again. Looking for a well-timed bar, but we're in a drought. 22. Ooh, There's a long the bar rolling. over. Dirty Tetris. Wow. Chris? And it's only 12,000 point difference. So, like, this this disgusting board. A board downtown Port will be proud of. <laughs> he's, he's still got... Well, he's fall behind, but still maintaining the pace with Hana. Yeah, that uh, that uh, that board was dirtier than the streets of Portland, Chris. Oh yes, <laughs> I went there. I did. Don't don't poke yourself with the exposed needles. All right, 557 Jerpy. We're just a couple lines to the level 19 transition. DMJ gonna transition at 525, and Jerpy in at 581. Especially yeah. if there's droughts later on the line. Oh, they are synced. Okay. Yeah, yeah Tetris over for Biggie, 553. Clean up to do here for Jerpy up top. Not ideal, but still in the game if we can. A long bar over Biggie. So just 8,000, 9,000 points behind while Jerpy still digging. Yeah, this is opening the door for Big. And there is that lead. Yep, Biggie into the lead. On the bottom here, Hana in trouble. Oh, no. This could be a top out in the end of the tournament for Hana. All right, ben able to get a split, split double. This is so tough. Mm. And that's going to be a top out for Hana. Now, DMJ needs a chase down. There's a Tetris. Right. Needs another 12,000 points. There's another Tetris, there DMJ. And DMJ will take this match here in round zero. GG's. So, Hana is out of the tournament, our first elimination. So, I think with the block format, we just have all four. We finish all the matches. I don't think we rotate in and out. Okay. So, I think if we go to the top scene there. Oh. All right. And, uh, there we go. There it is. We have large. All right, Jerpy going to take game one in our feature match here. And you'll notice game two. another new thing. When a player approaches level 19 or level 29, there will be a runway stat that appears at the bottom. This only happens in the two-player scene, so it's kind of like your scoring potential. We have a little tiny postage stamp of a player's face and stats everywhere all over the place. Right. You know, telling us the coach's kid's birthday. Round on the 20S, right? well, so, Jerpy setting up a cheeky Vitz vertical uh, eye tuck setup. Like first three lines. That's in. what you do when you're up two games to nothing. You kind of show <laughs> off a bit. Ready to go. Yeah, the, the, kind of a double edged sword. It depends on the player. You know, it seems like it's going pretty well for Armstrong so far as he's maintaining 
you know, just shy of a two touches lead here. Yes, the Vits, the vertical eye tuck setup, kind of an innovation the last two years. Players started doing it. Wow. But, you know, 492,000 here. Well, Jonas was doing it way back in the day, and the kids only figured it out Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. two years ago. Jonas did everything back in the day. It's a lot on the Monday night, you know, kind of shameless plug there, but, you know, I'd say it's a lot on the Monday night, you know, but here's the thing, like, Doodle's not even having that bad of a game, you know. He's having a fine game, it's just, Doge is just on fire, you know. That's all it really is. Like, early on, we're, uh... Yeah, and that's, you know, that's always one of the hardest things as a player is, like, when you're not having a bad Clean and close. That's all I can ask for. Yeah, just like a like a Gillette shave. On their eight games, yeah. Are we doing it by blocks, or are we doing I mean, it one game like at a time? But we don't have the list, so they need to announce for us. And we can't be heard anyway. We don't have a PA. We not have to lose this, as Kiriyama in the meantime also hoping to not have to lose. So, I anticipate the YouTube spoilers for what's going on in CT2 and the CT1 videos. It'll be fun. Okay. I get it. Oh, so another thing, when you put in the player's names, I think if you put the seed number before their name, it'll display their seed number on those seed. Um, well, they want us to just pick them from the drop down, is what I thought, because if you change the name, then it will change the flags, I think. I think if you see dot space name. I don't blame him. Yeah, there's a triple there. He'll get it right on one of the other I don't know what the seeds are. I don't know what the Just make up a number. Just for the demo, like that. Really fire here right now. Well, but anyway, I can't won't be able to see it. We'll figure it out. You get the behind the seats stuff when I'm on a stream here. I've never been, yeah, I've never been. still trying to operate through this. Yeah, he just gets up close that left side. So, yeah, if you want to tell me what to do, I don't, I've never seen it. We'll try it later. We got Chirpy and Biggie in game three. We, that's more important. Is it? I think so. No, it's more important that we show a yeah, little number. Up on the top, you know, <laughs> I think. Kind of, All right, 145 you know, here for Jerpy, 154 for, for Biggie. They are both that admired in a drought here. You see the drought bit, counter climbing. There's a long bar right finally now. for Jerpy. So yeah, this is still anyone's game here. And I like when we're in the tennis match portion of the match when the lead goes back and forth with every Tetris. We're looking at like seven Tetrises earlier. Yeah, we also do got to keep in mind, Doodle did transition first before Doge, so there is a little bit of a line discrepancy. Yeah. But right now, you know, five Tetris lead for Doge. All right, Tetris over for Biggie. And one over for Jerpy. So Jerpy maintaining that lead. A little, little low-scoring game here, but... It's close, and so maybe it's the piece set. Yeah, a lot of times that's what, if you see both players with low scores, it's usually a low potential seed. We trust our players to be good. Yeah, it's, it's 2023. Yeah, everyone's good. All right, a little bit of cleanup to do here for Biggie. And gets that squared on cover. Long bar over Tetris, Biggie. Doge is good for game number two. All right, it's 2 nothing now for Doge up on top. Biggie needs to win this one to stay in the tournament, which is just so brutal. I mean, like, you get one match, you win, and that or that's it. And, you know, you get to qualify for two hours. You get your $50 worth. You don't need no stinking double Elam. That's for fighting games that last 25 seconds. Yeah, for sure. All right, but kind of a spire here of square is for Jerpy in the middle, looking for a long bar to get over to the right side and bring this down. That could be like a magnet. You, <laughs> yeah, and the squares keep coming. The, 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 yeah, you're just dropping magnets the squares. It's no one to put them. Look at all these squares. And I don't mean the people watching this in the crowd. I mean You're watching the crowd. I mean it's the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. It's full of squares. <laughs> a square is a nerd in fifties terminology. Uh, if, just in case you didn't know. All right, there we go. Three forty-eight. Boom, Tetris for Jerpy. Hey, yeah, Chris Tang is here. Uh, oh, oh, the early oh, no. oh, the flagpole. Yeah, I was just gonna say. All right, two lines of relief should help that for Jerpy. Yeah, but Biggie of, will you know, get this Tetris and up, make it a. Point four three Tetris difference. <laughs> Where's the long bar? Oh, man. oh there it is. I barely kiss it over. All right, just about 12, 13 lines away from the level 19 transition where the speed will increase by 50%. So if you were going 50 miles an hour, right. well, you're now going 75. 12, 20, 20 rows per second. Then you go 30 rows per second. 
Wow, that's math. I was a philosophy major. I can't do math. Right. I thought you had to do math and philosophy. No, it's symbols, but not numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, two I lines. This, I like this difference, though. 9,000 points. So, 400,000 transition, a little on the low side. But again, it doesn't matter like how well you are playing against yourself. It's how you're doing versus how your opponent's doing. And there is a Tetris for... Uh, uh, for and Biggie, and you can see the runway the stat at the bottom, bottom cycling in. The difference as we got the transition, but we, I was starting to bring this back. Biggie with some cleanup to do. There is a triple to bring oh, this yeah, down. If you're going to burn, that's the way to burn. That's the cliche, but I like it. For Armstrong. All right, getting set up for the Tetris. Biggie, 429. Jerpy going to get one, 454. And, and Jerpy can afford to play conservative. Make Biggie win this game. There's Jerpy's got two hearts in the pocket. But you know, you talk about all this game theory and situational awareness. This game is too fast to think that much about it. I mean, I would imagine. No, to you and me, it's too fast. To them, this is like you know. Kevin McHale or whatever, he just sees things at like 33% speed as everybody else. Good, good classic Boston reference. I did, I did that for you, an old sports reference. Right, but it's Boston too, so you kind of got them both in there. Yeah. Oh, the nice T spin, there you go. Get, get the nod of approval. That's why we spent all that money on the cameras. <laughs> oh no, miss drops in the middle there, creating gaps. All right, going to uncover the right oh, side. Take a skim here, uh, bar in, and Tetris, Biggie. It's it's going to like survive. a coconut face there in the in Biggie's board. <laughs> a coconut yeah. face? Yeah, little, little holes in the coconut. Oh. Looks like a bowling ball, no, kind of. No, oh, I didn't, I didn't notice yeah, that. Now, if I think it's if gone I don't, now. I mean, that, 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 that reference is left now, the barn. Now, now, doesn't that mean like, if I don't see faces yeah. and things, I'm a sociopath? Is that what that means? I mean, if you're going to call me a sociopath, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Biggie with the misdrop there. The J to the left. This is going to be really tough to survive. Got it. Wow. Still a lot to do. Oh, no. Biggie going to top out. That's it. Jerpy has advanced. <laughs> we got the Jerpy woos. <laughs> All right, Jerpy will advance. Biggie will have to wait another year for a CTWC championship. I'm sure it's coming. But uh, I think it's amazing just to make the gold bracket. Oh yeah, which I have never that? had a chance to do. And of course, back in the day, that way back, you did. I did. You did. I did. Back back when 300,000 plus could get you in the gold bracket. And people yeah, would yeah. like Could fail to show up on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, somehow you ended up in the semifinals because nobody showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had my ass handed by Robin Mihara. Ah, uh, yes. Very, uh, it was a privilege. So Back in the day, so uh, we're gonna uh, clean up this scene and we're gonna hopefully get the players announced because I'm not gonna grand design this and yell at people to show up on stage. So we're gonna need an announcement for CT1. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. Yeah, they're going to do this in blocks and just announce everybody at one time. All right. So well, maybe we'll uh, play Musac or something in the meantime. Yeah, we'll do that. There it is. The Buko chance in the house, baby. <laughs> that's how you know we're underway. Of course. And Doge already having to build up a long bar dependency. And wow, droughts early on. Neither player able to use the first long bar for a Tetris. Yeah, it's very well done from Doge there, just being able to fill in that left side first. Because realistically, he could have picked either, but you know, the right side, you know, as many folks know that are watching, you know, right side certainly easier to get a bar over to, so it's better to use for that Tetris well. Yeah, yeah already Doodle having to encounter some issues. Doge was able to further score, score the first Tetris up there. Meanwhile, Kuryaba and Armstrong, they're basically neck and neck here in the beginning. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but you can see the score differential is displayed underneath the score. And it also shows the differential by in terms of Tetris's too. Yeah, instead of everybody having to estimate every time, right? You know, it's like, oh, this is about, you know, like, you know, 24,000. Like, that's about a Tetris, right? But see, it'll tell you right there. 1.00 Tetrises. Yeah, and that'll definitely come really in handy when we start talking about level 20, not post-29 play. Oh, when, yeah. you know, the amount of Tetrises starts to become worth more than 40,000 points per. Yeah. Yeah, and that's going to be really crazy to see. And who don't, I mean, we could see it in some of these very early matches, too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Doge and all these players, you know, have over 1.3 million, I believe, as their PBs. Yeah. Especially Doge with, you know, I think, 2 million? That sounds right. Yeah. 
Someone could fact check us on that. Like, uh, he's he's, oh, he's fact checking no. us right now. <laughs> but two million is possible. Yeah. With that being said, 165 oh, for said a 1. Doge. 1.9. 1. 1.9. Yeah. No, basically see, we two million. We That's close. basically two million. <laughs> <laughs> but 165,000 for Doge, 87,000 for Doodle. And down at the bottom, 148 to 171. Kiriaba in the lead. And yeah. Pretty clean touches going on so far. And you know, we had the early mishap from Doodle. You know, perhaps some, you know, nerves here for being on like the biggest stage possible in all of classic tetris you know it's his first time here you know and i think it is for doge too actually come to think of it but doge of course competing in some of the earlier years and you know the online years just was yeah. unable to attend last year yeah and doge of course attending a bunch of events that happened in texas you know the waco yeah. regional and the lone star regional yeah so doge pretty well adjusted to the in-person competition you know but, yeah, but doodle yeah. seems to be getting into a groove though yeah down by you know 55,000 points, Do Doge gonna knock down another Tetris, and down at the bottom, things are still very close, only separated by one Tetris, and is actually playing a little bit ahead of Armstrong, so we're, you know, kinda close, basically neck and neck. Yeah, it is a really tight one on the bottom to begin. You know, and up on the top too, you know, gotta give credit to all these guys, they're all keeping it close. This is exactly what we wanna see right out of the gate here at the World Championship, Sharky, this is amazing. Yeah, ooh, Doodle, nice overhand, wow. goes for the S-spin, beautiful delay setup. But man, Doge, highest Tetris rate out of all these players at 82 right now. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, that 82% Tetris rate there from Doge to begin. That really efficient right out of the gate. And of course, you know, a couple years, or last year in particular, we could have been like, ah, Tetris rate doesn't matter because they'll just line out to, you know, level 70. Yeah. But now it can become a factor, especially when you start getting closing in on level 39, where you, if you're down by 100,000 points, you're going to have to you set up Tetris like somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. There's another Tetris for Doodle, 321 to now 375. Down at the bottom, 324 to 324, separated neck by literally a single. Oh, man incredibly close but it does look like we are running into a drought yeah about a 20 piece drought there at the bottom you know and armstrong starting to encounter that as well at 328 351 for kajava or kuryava excuse me there it is another armstrong tetris scored for armstrong doge in the lead by roughly three and a half tetrises just clean stacks so far. Still maintaining this over 80% Tetris rate. Oh, hold on, Kiriyama in a bit of trouble. Oh, hangs oh. the bar! And that's gonna be it, 355. So Armstrong, with another burn, will do it. Just but one more right burn. Side's looking rough here. And there, and there it, it is, is. that's good okay. enough. First game of CTWC has been taken by Armstrong. Wow. <laughs> Just really tough situation to encounter right there. But man, Doge. 513 at 102 lines. This is insane. Yeah, having a really efficient game here. Almost a 90% Tetris right here, Sharky. This is, yeah, he's really coming in hot to begin. Oh, so far right now, Doodle down by just under 100,000 points. And, yeah. you know, that's the that's one of the hardest things when you're playing an opponent on the same piece sets. You have to rely on your opponent to make a mistake and not capitalize on the long bar in order for you to make a comeback. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, miss spin right there. So might go for row two. We are nearing the level 19 transition. Yeah, I got about 10 lines to go for both of our players. And Doodle's looking to get this board under control here. Needs a quick burn for that right side. We'll get it with the T. So as long as he can keep it clean on that right side there, should be in pretty good shape here going into it. 627 for Doge here. Two Tetrises remain. Yeah, we could see a pretty high 600 transition here. Good like 670 or Ooh. so. After oh, we're that LP, some birds, though. It is on the doodle transitions at 537. Oh my gosh, the five below adjustment oh for the word. dirty Tetris over there for Doge. Gonna transition at 675. Wow, what a flex right there from Doge. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely insane. We did get a start at the bottom, but right now, both of our players on level 19. Doodle fills in the LP dependency, holding out for the long bar. The drought counter is ticking, and there it is Tetris for Doodle. Yeah, he's at 593, about four touches behind. We'll get another one, though, to work on closing the gap. He's yeah. just trying to stay up on row two here, Sharky. Just trying to stay efficient, avoid taking burns, you know, as a roller, he can get away with that. Yeah, yeah but you still got to be careful because all the four of these players are rolling as we see it, what happened at the bottom. Kuryava topped out and rolling, you know, couldn't save him there. But right now, 734 for Doge. Uh, Doodle actually trying to make a comeback down by around three Tetrises. And Doodle getting up high. There it is, Tetris for Doodle. 
Berg, this is actually insane. Dude was, you know, brought it back to within two to three Tetris range. Oh my god, he just has, I don't think he's burned since like level 20. Like, well, there's he is a burn just, right there. Well, there was, well, there was one, yeah, <laughs> but until then, as I said that, so he just, yeah, he, I cursed it. Yeah, 756 to 791. There's another Tetris for Doge. 818, level 22. This yeah. is tough. Huge game from Doge right now, right out of the gate. He's looking Ooh. to make a statement here, Sharky. I uh, kind of got a couple of rough pieces, so it's going to slow down. And Doodle has a clean board. This is an opportunity. Yeah, it's exactly what he's looking for here. He'll get a Tetris in. It is an 18 ounce voice. He's going to take the lead with the Tetris. Now Doge trying to get set up for row two. He's going to knock down a Tetris, take the lead right back. 863 to now 875. Doodle takes the lead back with a Tetris right there, level 24. Great flat burns. And Doge is just going to try and burn this all the way down. Man, Sharky, this is game one, and this is already looking like it might come down to the wire here. Can you imagine we get five games of this? This is ridiculous. 909 for Doodle here, level 25. We're looking at level 26 maxes here. And oh, Doge, hold on. Oh, Low trickiness. Up. Long bar dependency. Needs it running into a drought. Long bar comes oh, to tap man. it late. Doge now having to survive. Waiting on an ideal piece to go over this left. TP oh, makes it to the left. Goes yeah, for the exactly. burn. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Love to get a J piece. Ideal saw for this. Gets an L piece instead. Still decides to fill in the two deep dependency. Waiting for an L oh, piece. Meanwhile, Doodle's in some trouble too on that left side. Gets the Vitz on the left, but he needs another bar now. 